Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video I'm going to show you my settings for the Bowers & Wilkins center channel. Uh, the HTM71S2 6.5 D-Way center channel from Bowers & Wilkins and why I'm running it that way. This is not really a review for this speaker but know that this center channel is the best money can buy and to me it is worth the retail value of $14.99. Of course your settings is subjective but I am going to help you determine whether you should run your speakers on large or small and why you should run your surround settings a certain way. Let's begin with the standard ideal way most people run their settings to optimize their home theater surround. All speakers set to small. Your crossover frequency set to 80 hertz including the subwoofer and also on the subwoofer itself you should have your your dial to 80 hertz to correspond with the receiver for my front left and front right i run my bowers bookshelf and for my surround right and surround left i am running my polk audio towers even though ideally you should run your towers for your front channels, I prefer them for the surround back. Because typically you want to run your towers for the front if you like to listen to a lot of music, um, especially in two, in two channels. But I don't really use mine for music as much, so I just throw them in the back. And for your LCR decibels, if you set your center channels decibels higher than the front left and right, when the sound hits the left and front, the left and right front, it won't be as detailed. So I set my center channel lower than the fronts. The bad thing about that is when a song comes on in a movie sometimes uh, those front is too loud so particularly in the beginning of the movie a lot of times they have like these theme songs or whatnot and the front channels is super loud but I figure if you don't like that the ideal way you should run your LCR is probably put all all of them all the channels to the same decibels so that is my recommendation for the LCR even though I run mine uh, front left three and center channel zero and then front right three or five for that one and for running your speakers on small or large this is how you know when you should uh, this is how you determine when you should the test is that that I use is the movie the Mason Spider-Man chapter 12 and if you don't own that movie uh, you can test Mortal Kombat 2021 the scene when Sub-Zero creates hail and drop it on people and the cars smashing it down ice particles and when ice particles come down it should sound deep for the Mason Spider-Man, chapter 12, when Peter goes down the sewers and um, shoots his spider web, if every time he shoots his web and it's deep, it should be on large. So right when, right when he just shoots his web, it, it should sound like clearly deep like a bass and that is how you know your speakers can handle large but if it sounds the same and not deep whether it's on large or small then you should run all your speakers on small the reason you want to run all your speakers on small and letting the subwoofer handle the bass because the bass sounds better and fuller off a sub 
you only want to run your speakers on large if all your speakers are towers and it obviously if not even not not even the fact that it's uh, a tower even then it's got to be able to output that bass off those speakers in my case although my bookshelf has a uh, bass it it has a capability of producing bass it's it's still not a tower for there when when i set them on large when you play music on two channel like on youtube your sub won't kick in but if you set it too small you get the full subwoofer bass which sounds great when you listen to music especially when you're using two channel so that's the drawback if you're running large on your uh, front left and front right if they're not a tower um, you're not going to get that that bass that you want I have to uh, so I have to set my front my front left front right large in in order to set my center channel the Bowers and Wilkins HTM 71 S2 in order to set that to large I got to set the front left front right large to take the full effect of my center channel um, so so my my current settings now instead of previously everything was all on small and everything was on 80 Hertz now I set all my all my speakers on large and the crossover I found best for me is 70 Hertz and if you're not sure what to set your crossover if you are running whether you're running large or small 80 80 Hertz is the standard and I've I've there's no problem with 80 Hertz 80 Hertz is like I said if you can't tell uh, with your setup what Hertz what crossover to run 80 Hertz is the ideal Hertz and for the Adobe speakers I set them on small so I found it best to set the crossover to 120 Hertz so that way anything under that sub Anything under 120 hertz, my sub would uh, output the bass. So to recap, my settings for the Bowers and Wilkins HTM 71 S2 is set to large, along with the left and right front and the surround. My crossover for them is 70 hertz, and for my Dolby enabled speakers crossover, I set it to 120 hertz. And for those who are not sure about uh, the crossovers so basically let's say your crossover is 80 Hertz so that means that anything under 80 Hertz for frequency your subwoofer will kick in and any frequency that's over 80 Hertz the 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 speakers the sub the subwoofers on the speakers will handle anything above 80 Hertz. So that is the ideal uh, for the Hertz on the crossovers. So basically, if you have tiny speakers or small speakers and you want the best thump and bass, of course, you are gonna set your speakers to a higher Hertz, so that way your subwoofer will always kick in. But if you have very awesome uh, tower speakers and you want your your uh, speakers bass subwoofers that come with your speakers, if you want them to hit, then obviously you want them at lower frequencies so that anything above that hertz, it'll go to crossover will go to your speakers and it will punch out that bass but like I said the standard all in all the most common settings to get the most bang out of your the most bang out of the buck is 
particularly you run it you want to run all you want to run all your surround speakers in small so that way your LFE or your subwoofer can handle all the bass because the subwoofer bass is a lot deeper and sounds fuller better than your actual speakers but it's all depends on a bass to bass a setup but ideally that's what you want everything small and you want it to run at 80 hertz have your subwoofer handle all the bass um, but in my case for my new setup with uh, these Bowers and Wilkins center channel since since this center channel has like subwoofers on it uh, I want to take a, advantage of the those subs so I run it on large but if I didn't have the center channel I would run everything on small but since I have the center channel that is why I am running it on large so um, that is pretty much it for this video I hope you guys got something out of it thanks for tuning in I'll catch you guys on the next one hood it dragons out